Hello, everyone. You're watching the guest on Gabon 24. Mrs. Parminda Veer, OBE entrepreneur and media expert, is our guest today. She will tell us about the reason for presenting Gabon and about her experience in entrepreneurship. Madam, welcome to Gabon. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be in your beautiful country. That's pretty good. So now, uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, yourself? Okay, so name as you said is Parmen Devere. I'm, I'm from the UK. I live in UK. I was born in India and came to Britain as, a, as an immigrant way back in the 1960s. Uh, my background as a professional is in film and television industry and, as, and supporting artists and arts in, in Britain. Um, and then I guess I, it was around two, 2014. So making films brought me to Africa as a film producer. I made films in Angola, Mozambique, Burkina Faso, Senegal, Nigeria, sadly not in Gabon, which yeah. I will now rectify. All right. And um, and then in 2014, I had the opportunity to come to Africa at the invitation of the founder of the Tony Lumulu Foundation to help design and implement a pan-African entrepreneurship program. All right, that's very good. Can we uh, maybe have one of, uh, let's say, your famous, uh, let's say, film you have directed? Oh, wow, okay. So I'm a documentary film producer and a feature film producer. Okay. I, my feature film is a reggae musical, reggae from Jamaica. As you know, in Britain, we have a large Jamaican community. Sure. So the film story is set in the Jamaican community around reggae and, and, and reggae and dancehall. Um, that was a feature film, which has now become a classic. Um, okay. It was made 20 plus years ago. Um, the film that another film I produced was a documentary in Mozambique, um, where we followed a family returning after the civil war had stopped right. um, from Malawi to Mozambique. Oh. And we followed them returning to their village. Um, the film that I most, another film, a third film that I can tell you, was really following the women who fought in the Algerian Revolution. Okay. Um, if your viewers have seen this film, Battle of Algiers, they will have seen that women, Algerian women, both in the countryside and in the city, played a very important role during that period. And I went to find those women, their daughters and their granddaughters, okay. um, to see how, what their views were on how Algeria had changed. That's pretty interesting. You also are OBE, uh, and uh, so what is it, and how, how uh, why have you been, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's say appointed as such, if I can say so. The OBE, you know, in every country has this honors system. And in Britain, we have that the honor system um, is uh, is really in recognition for your contribution to any sector, any okay. area of work. In my case, uh, my order of the British Empire was given to me um, because of my contribution to the film and television industry. Pretty good. Thank well, you. Yeah, sure. Congratulations one more time. So now you are in Gabon. What are you here for? Wow, that's the real story. I was in, you know, universe conspired for me to meet the founder of um, ONG Sambas Labs. And I was very delighted to receive the invitation to come and spend one week here immersed in engagement and in interaction with Gabonese entrepreneurs. Okay. Um, the invitation came from Josiane Matane, who I'm sure is a well-known personality here, the driving force behind um, the ONG, the ONG Sambas Labs and um, Les Sambas Professional. So I, you know, the format of, of their program, of the program is very unique. What it's doing is bringing experts in their areas of expertise. We have sports journalism. We have people who are teaching in video um, and photography sure. um, to come and share their expertise to inspire um, the entrepreneurs here, okay. as well as those who want to learn specific professional skills. Pretty good. The theme of uh, this edition is survivre in French, survivre et prospérer en tant qu'entrepreneur in English, surviving, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and thriving as uh, an entrepreneur. 
So um, the question is, uh, what are, according to you, the most I mean, uh, promising sectors? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, one can undertake or become entrepreneur entrepreneur in in Gabon. Well, I think entrepreneurship is a mindset. Okay. And I think effectively, you know, you can either be an entrepreneur because you have a phenomenal business idea, okay. and that business idea has emerged because you've seen a gap in the market, and you think your idea can fill that gap in the market. Sure. And across any sector, health, education, manufacturing, okay. IT, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the, you know, it, but it's really, there's no shortage of ideas, is going from having an idea to the launch to then sustaining that business. Okay. Um, and a lot of the work that Les Sambas is doing is really giving the entrepreneurs tools and skills with which they can better manage themselves okay. Their and their business. All right. So, will you, uh, w thanks to your presence here in Gabon, will you maybe set a possibility for Gabonese entrepreneurs to be in contact with those in, in, in uh, uh, let's say, England, for instance? I think the most important thing for Gabonese entrepreneurs is to be in touch with each other first. And okay. mm -hmm. um, we must build an entrepreneurial ecosystem, a sustainable ecosystem in Gabon. Yeah. Okay. And that requires the role of the private sector big business as well as small business, working hand in hand with government. Okay. Without government, we cannot have an entrepreneurship ecosystem. Right. Government is responsible for infrastructure, is responsible for the internet, right? Is responsible for regulation. You know, I mean, the majority of the entrepreneurs, even before they've launched their businesses, they've registered their companies, you know, they are, you know, the tax, yeah, bills sure. will kill them. So the, it, for you know, it really is that in Gabon we must. I'm sure there is an entrepreneurship ecosystem. Les Sambas is one of them. Is part of that ecosystem, but it's really important to strengthen that ecosystem. Okay. So that Gabonese entrepreneurs can really be sustainable. Once you are sustainable, you're creating jobs. You're generating revenues for yourself and for your family and for right. your community, I believe you can then begin to explore markets Other. outside. Okay. And those markets, you know, we have 54 African economies, 54 countries with millions of consumers, sure. 54 countries with very similar needs, yeah? And there's an opportunity for Gabonese entrepreneurs to move into intra-Africa trade. Okay. And that is what, at the moment, the African intra-Africa trade is like 12 to 15 percent. Okay. You compare that with, say, Europe, which is 70 percent, or the U.S., which is over 50 percent. And so imagine 1.3 billion people on the continent trading with each other, right? right? And then absolutely, you know, then you should always think about the, the, the global market, the world is your oyster as well. There yes. are many solutions that Gabonese entrepreneurs will be coming up with which might be relevant in Latin America okay. or might be relevant in, on the Indian subcontinent as well as across Europe. All right, so you're definitely your role you're in the Samba Professional would more, mostly be, uh, uh, let's say, um, related to, uh, uh, let's say, given strategies on how to undertake in media, uh, let's say, media environment, or, I mean, what's going to be your, your role? No, I think my, I mean, absolutely, you know, for me, every entrepreneur, mm -hmm. and I've met 10,000 of the entrepreneurs that came through the program That's that right. I designed, and I've met thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs, you have a powerful story to tell. Okay. So in terms of media, it's about storytelling. Is telling your, seeing your business as a story, seeing yourself as a story, so, okay. seeing entrepreneurs coming out of the African continent with the story, and is the is the success and the failures of entrepreneurs, which are the powerful stories that are going to change the perception of Africa. Africa. That's yeah? pretty interesting. So I think yes, you know, how do you then tell your story for the most um, impactful way? But I think for me, you know, my role here is much more to be strategic. Okay. Um, so I think 
you know, we all know that entrepreneurs start and within three years, they fail. Oh, yeah. yeah? And for me, failure is fundamentally important. Okay. It's not that they failed. The important thing is to learn from that failure. Okay. And then either you pivot and start another business. But those who do continue to rise, go from startups to, um, you know, medium enterprises to high growth companies to global companies, you're constantly evolving your strategy sure. um, as a business, yeah? So uh, I think mine is much more about strategic around funding, you know, and, and, and understanding the, the funding landscape, the power of networking, um, you know, and many of those bigger issues that entrepreneurs need to face, developing strategy de and building um, governance within, in, within your enterprise or your company. All right. Um, in Gabon, uh, most of um, young people are involved in social entrepreneurship through the creation of NGOs. Sure. But the big, uh, the big deal they, they do have is, you know, finance issue. Yeah. Maybe uh, can, you, can you tell I mean, the viewers how one from Gabon or being in Gabon can... Uh, Access funding. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I fundamentally believe capital is not the problem across the continent. Okay. They, you know, the... Africa is the new destination for capital, whether it's venture capital or private equity capital, high net worth individual capital, any form of capital, yeah? I think what entrepreneurs, social enterprises, but also for profit entrepreneurs, what they have to do is to align their core business and values to the sources of funding that they're looking to. Yeah. Because remember, capital follows ideas. And this continent and this country in particular, Gabon, because it has so, much, so many areas that it needs to develop. Agriculture, I've discovered that you don't have a very big agri agriculture. Okay. Manufacturing, no. You know, I mean, there are many, many health, um, yeah. healthcare, education. I can name all Quite the, right. yeah, the sure. sectors, <laughs> right? So for me, those are, that's not a problem, that's a challenge, and it's a huge opportunity. Okay. And yes, um, funders and investors are looking who is, who is at the heart of this business, not sure. social enterprise or for profit. What are their, um, what's their own knowledge yeah, and Very experience good of the sector or the solution that they are proposing. Yeah? That's pretty interesting. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of this. Oh, who are in positions of power, um, listen to them okay. and make them a part of your solution. That's pretty good. Thank you one more time. Uh, dear viewers, uh, you just watched the guest on Gabon 24, Mrs. Parminder, right? Uh, right. Veer, uh, OBE, an entrepreneur, and ex media expert was our guest today. She told us about uh, the reason of her presence in Gabon and also about her experience in entrepreneurship a little bit. And uh, we hope that next time we'll have uh, you know, much more time to... I hope so too. All right, thank you very thank much you. for accepting thank our invitation. Thank you so much. All right, goodbye and see you next time. Bye-bye.